Hello vinyl community, it's time for another quick and dirty video with another unboxing. And this is this is another album to get really, really excited about. At at least I do. Um and the wife will too when she sees it. Um It's very, very strange. I even though th this is kind of kind of a cool underground band um that's had you know some level of success um and i'll once i reveal the album i'll i'll um you know throw some other names out there um that i'm kind of shocked that are never ever 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 shown in the vc at least i've never seen them and it's just shocking to me it's like this is like fantastic music and these are these are bands that are being overlooked <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's kind of disturbing, actually. So, as far as I can tell, let me be the first to show this one. Um, very, very excited. Let's just get down to it. That was dramatic, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. So, from 1996, we have uh, Platibo. Platibo? Hmm, interesting. Placebo's <laughs> uh, self titled debut. Um, this was a, a re, re, uh, 2000, as it says on the, on the sticker here, it's very clear, uh, a 2015 remastered black 180 gram vinyl. Um, and I resorted to, uh, looking on eBay for this, um, I think on Amazon, their albums t typically go for, you know, well over $20, um, yeah. So I found this under twenty dollars, which is kind of my my sweet spot for buying albums, um, preferably, you know, even closer to ten. But th this was closer to twenty, definitely. In fact, about eighteen and change. Um, yeah. So if if you're not familiar, basically Placebo, they're neo glam, uh, punk revival, Brit pop, um, punk pop, pop punk, whatever you want to call it. Um, fronted by uh, Brian Malko, who's this this uh, he he's he's definitely you know like straight out of a glam band, <laughs> and, and he has a very very unique voice. Um, yeah. So before I show it more, let's just open this thing. Okay, so here it is, in all of its glory, as I like to say. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's see if I recognize any of the songs on here. Um, I'm actually more familiar with, uh, their second album in particular, th this being their first, from, uh, 1996. Uh, 1998, they had, uh, Without You, I'm Nothing. And in, uh, 2000, they had Black Market Music. Um, I remember, uh, buying that one on CD for my, my wife, the, uh, Black Market Music. Um, she's a huge, huge placebo fan. I think she's the reason I'm into this band. I'm pretty sure. Um, I may have, I may have, uh, heard, I may have heard w Without You I'm Nothing before I met her, maybe, possibly. Anyway, yeah, so this is not their best album. It's not a bad album, certainly. Um, and of course, I'm speaking from, you know, the research I did. Um, because All Music gives this three stars. Uh, Without You, I'm Nothing, and Black Market Music, both are four-star albums. Um, but you know what? They have such a unique sound, especially with Brian Malko's voice, that I don't think you can go wrong with them. So, um, there's a a pseudo gatefold. Does it open again? No. It's funny because it opens like this and then you pull it out from there. I don't know how well you can see that. but So, let's pull it out. A custom inner sleeve, that's nice. Slightly different um, photograph on the inner sleeve. That's pretty cool, actually. And it did say 180 gram uh, black. 
vinyl. But uh, there's the, the label, this is a simple label. Um, so basically this is, this is a band that I, I don't understand why they're not shown in the vinyl community. Um, if you ask me, it, it's, it's right up the vinyl community's alley. Uh, so hopefully people will catch on to this or correct me and say, oh, I did that video ages ago, blah, 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 you know. <laughs> but I want to see this stuff now. Anyway, um, but just some other names that I'm, I'm kind of shocked about. Blur. Um, what's up with that? Nobody shows Blur. Um, suede. Nobody shows Suede. Um, offhand, I can't really think of, of many others. Um, the one that kind of falls in that vein that people do show is the Smiths. So, um, I, I would kind of lump them together. Um, yeah. Interesting packaging on this, how it, it folds out just with, like, a single uh, page, if you will. And then there's like a compartment in, in here. Uh, yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah, but I'm so excited about this. I'm, I'm glad I could show it to you. Um, you know, try and get a good price on it. It's, it's not supposed to be their best album, but I'm going to love it. I am going to love it. Um, because out of, and the bands I mentioned are all favorites of, of my wife. Um, and out of those, Placebo is is definitely my my favorite out of those. So um, I I love this band. Actually, um, if you only listen to one song by Placebo, and I'm, I'm sure it's not on here, it was, I think it was much later. Um, listen to Running Up That Hill, a cover of the Kate Bush song. Oh my. God gosh <laughs> that song I mean I love the Kate Bush version don't get me wrong I love her version but they completely do it justice they have such a good version so check that out if nothing else or just buy this album <laughs> yeah anyway thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time wait <laughs> um yeah, I, I had to come back real quick because I just noticed after I filmed the video that this apparently is, uh, if not a German pressing, it, it's it's from Europe. Well, it does it does say Universal Music GmbH, and then it and then it it says Germany um, on the on the label itself, and actually even right here, it it does say made in the E. And, you know, there's a lot of talk about the EU right now. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. So I thought it was worth coming back for a moment to uh, share that with you. So, cool. Thanks for watching.